Hiya, this is the second lesson in the differentiating two pack. So last lesson we differentiated some trig. So we know that sine differentiates to cos, which differentiates to minus sine, which differentiates to minus cos, which goes back to sine. So if I remember that little clock face, that will always help me. Right, let's have a look at this. Oh yeah, so the formula booklet has got a list of all the um, differentials and integrals which you can just use. We, in the last lesson, we used the quotient rule to show that tan x becomes secant squared x. In the same way, if you wrote cosec as 1 over sine, you can use uh, the quotient rule to show that it becomes minus cosec cot. And the same for sec and the same for cot. So all these you could actually do using the quotient rule if you wanted to, if you was a bit bored and fancied a bit of a challenge. Right, let's have a look. So let's differentiate these. So log of tan 4x. So if you remember, if you differentiate a log, I differentiate the bracket over the bracket. So that becomes, if I differentiate tan, that goes to secant squared x. So if I differentiate the tan 4x, it's like a little chain ruley thing, just like you did with e to the 4x, where the 4 goes at the front, I do exactly the same here. So tan 4x would become 4 secant squared 4x all over tan 4x. Now that would be enough to get your full marks. But what if it wanted to cancel it down a little bit more? I know that secant squared is 1 over cos squares. So 4 secant squared is 4 over cos squared 4x. All that's divided by tan 4x, which is sine 4x over cos 4x. Going to the next question here. Right, the bottom fraction, if I flip it, and times it, one of the cos 4x's disappears. And I'm left with 4 over cos 4x sine 4x. Now then, they might ask you to put it in terms of a double angle. Now we know that sine of 2x is 2 sine x cos x. So sine of 8x will be 2 sine 4x cos 4x. If you compare that, this here, They're the same. So that bottom line is really sine 8x over 2. So my differential becomes 4 over sine 8x all over 2, which is 8 oops, over sine 8x. Or even, if I use the fact that, sine, uh, that, that cosec is 1 over sine, it's 8 cosec. 8x there. That's quite nice that really to move it around to rearrange it so much. You would get full marks just for doing that but it might say put it in the form cosec 8x in which case it's nice to follow the algebra through to there. Right let's have a look at E. So E we're working on the idea that it's f dashed of x e to the f of x when we differentiate. So if I differentiate secant x, it tells me it's secant x tan x. There's nothing there to show like a little chainy rule bit, so that's okay. So it just becomes sec x tan x times by e to sec x. So that's nice. That's really, really straightforward. Right, let's have a look at the next one. So it says y equals x sine x has a stationary point when x is minus tan x. So in terms of a plan, I'm going to differentiate it 
and then I'm going to set dy by dx equal to zero and see what I get. But looking at the question, I've got two bits times together. So it must be that I'm using the product rule. There. So if y equals x sine x, dy by dx is um, 1 times by sine x plus x times by cos x. So if I just tidy it a little bit, I've got sine x plus x cos x. Now with AQA, it's vital that you put statements like stationary when dy by dx is equal to zero and then write the equation equal to zero there. Now look what you're aiming towards. I'm aiming towards x equals minus tan x. So I'm aiming towards x equals minus sine x over cos x. So if you think, if that cos was up there, it would be like an x cos x is minus sine x. And you can see, just from thinking that through in my head, that if I work backwards on them steps, I can get from the sine x plus x cos x to what I want. So if I take over the minus sign, so x cos x is minus sine x. If I divide through by cos x, so x is minus sine x over cos x. I always forget, but it's worth remembering, anything you use, say you're using it. Tell the marker you know what you're doing. So tan x is sine x over cos x. So I've got x equals minus tan x, which is what I wanted. So that's good. Right, let's have a quick look at the next page. See if we've got time to do it. Um, nope, I think I'll stop there and I'll do it in a second set.